Well, today, volunteers with the Red Cross were out in Warren working to help those displaced by a deadly home explosion. Police say the blast damaged about 15 homes and claimed a man's life on Sunday. And the man who died was on parole for stalking and fleeing police. Investigators are now suspicious. As 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell tells us, the ATF is working to help find out whether he may have set this on purpose. So many people are displaced in a family, completely heartbroken after this explosion in war. And I spoke to the son of the man who lost his life, and he says what investigators say they believe may have happened is hard for him to accept. This is surveillance video of the blast on Sunday evening at 6 12 p.m. Firefighters responded to five homes on fire and at least 10 more damaged. On Tuesday, the ATF had investigators working to determine what sparked a natural gas explosion at a condo on Villa Point Drive near Shaner, causing all of this. He cared about everybody. Matt Prisgent pulled this picture from the wreckage of him and his dad, who shares his name. Firefighters found his dad dead in the basement of his dad's condo, where the explosion happened. On Saturday, police say a warrant had been issued for his dad for absconding parole. Warren police say it is a suspected suicide, but his son says he can't imagine his dad would do anything that would harm neighbors he cared about. He wasn't the type that would want to hurt anybody. He would go out of his way to take care of people. He was a nice young man. I had invited him to go to church with me. He said, OK, one day I'll go with you. Callie Wright had just walked in her home across the street from the epicenter when the explosion happened. She says she is praying for her neighbor's family. I may have been dead, you know, so I'm grateful that uh, I'm alive and I'm sorry that the young man lost his life. Warren Fire Commissioner Skip McAdam says there are suspicions because the smell of natural gas would have been overwhelmingly strong before such a blast and no one called 911 until after the explosion. He says they meticulously will rule out any other possibilities. You know, there'll be the final confirmation and, and that could take a month, couple months or, or a year, but we will get to an origin and cause. At this scene of heartbreak and destruction, I want to close by showing you something that neighbors are smiling at. In this tree, feathered survivors, baby robins and their mom, their nest just inches from debris. Some neighbors are calling it a miracle. In Warren, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.